In this video, we're going to learn about the order of operations. Before I go through some examples, we need to know what the order of operations is and why we use it. The order of operations is a set of instructions which tells us which steps to do first in a maths problem. It helps us to get to the right answer when we're working with calculations like adding, subtracting, multiplying and dividing, all within the same question. It's like a video game, where you need to complete tasks in a certain order to win the game. Or if you follow a recipe to bake a cake, if you don't follow the steps in the correct order, the cake will not turn out right. Without a standard order of operations, maths problems could have multiple answers, leading to confusion and inconsistency. The acronym that we use to remember the correct order is BIDMAS. The B stands for brackets. This means that we need to solve anything inside the brackets first. The I stands for indices. After brackets, we deal with the indices, which can also be known as powers or exponents. The D stands for division and the M stands for multiplication. So we carry out division and multiplication in the order that they appear from left to right. The A stands for addition and the S stands for subtraction. We also perform addition and subtraction in the order that they appear from left to right. Here are some other variations of BIDMAS which are used in different countries or different educational systems. All of these variations have the same order of operations, they just have a different way of saying it to remember the order. I'm going to work through five examples now, starting simple and increasing the difficulty as we go along. If you'd like to have a go at these examples yourself before we go through them, pause the video and press play when you're ready. So let's start with a simple example. 4 add 3 times 2 An easy mistake to make would be to jump straight into what you see at the beginning of the calculation and work out 4 add 3. However, this would not follow the order of operations and you would end up with an incorrect answer. So we start with B for brackets. However, there are no brackets in this calculation, so we can move on. Then we can check the indices. There are no indices in this calculation, so we can move on. So now we can move on to division and multiplication. There is a multiplication here, so we can solve this first. 3 times 2 is 6. Finally, we're left with the addition to do. 4 add 6 is 10. So the answer to this calculation is 10. Let's have a look at another example. So we start with brackets. 8 take away 3 is 5. Now we can move on to indices. There are no indices in this calculation, so we can move on. So we can move on to division and multiplication. 2 times 3 equals 6. Finally, we're left with the addition to do. 5 add 6 equals 11. So the answer to this calculation is 11. Let's have a look at another example. and Let's see if we can make it a little bit harder now. We start with B for brackets, but there are no brackets in this calculation, so we can move on. Next is I for indices. 3 squared equals 9. So now we can move on to division and multiplication. 4 times 3 equals 12. Now we can solve the addition and subtraction. We need to solve it in order from left to right. 
So on the left we had 5 add 9, which is 14. So we're left with 14 take away 12, which is 2. So the answer to this calculation is 2. Let's have a go at another tricky one now. The first thing we need to do is solve the brackets. Remember, we move from left to right, so I'm going to solve the left brackets first. We need to follow the order of operations within the brackets too, so I will work out 2 squared before doing the multiplication. 2 squared equals 4. 3 times 4 is 12. Now I can solve the second calculation that's in brackets. 4 add 6 equals 10. Now we are left with a subtraction and a division. The order of operations tells me that I need to solve the division first. 10 divided by 2 equals 5. So finally we're left with the subtraction. 12 take away 5 equals 7. So the answer to this calculation is 7. Let's have a look at one more example. This one has a division line. This acts like a grouping symbol similar to brackets so we solve the calculations above and below the line first before we proceed with the division. So let's solve the top part first. There are no brackets or indices, so we can start with the multiplication. 3 times 4 is 12. Next, we do the addition. 3 add 12 equals 15. Now we can solve the bottom part. There are no brackets, so we can start by working out 2 squared. 2 squared equals 4. So now we're left with the addition. 1 add 4 equals 5. So now that we have solved the top and bottom calculations, we can do the division. 15 divided by 5 equals 3. So the answer to this calculation is 3. Now it's your turn. Here is a calculation for you to have a go at. Don't forget to follow the order of operations using Bidmas to help you. Let me know your answer in the comments section.